right, to steal a poker cliche, sometimes in life you need to show your cards. And that is exactly what the Jets did yesterday when owner Woody Johnson, GM Joe Douglas, head coach Robert Sala, offensive coordinator Nathaniel Hackett flew out to California to meet with Aaron Rodgers. That group was back on the East Coast today after spending 11 hours in SoCal to meet with Rodgers at his Malibu home. The Jets won him, and rightfully so. They obviously got the green light from the Packers to speak with Rodgers. I would imagine the compensation for Rodgers has already been worked out with the Packers. The question remains... Was this trip a trip to convince Rodgers to play or to play in New York? We still have not heard whether or not Rodgers even wants to play football in 2023. If he does, the Jets, with their actions, have shown you that Rodgers is their top priority, and they are doing everything to get him. If they were to acquire Rodgers, the Jets would not only be the biggest sports story in this city, it would be the big, most interesting storyline in the NFL, period. I do not know what he was said during the meeting yesterday, but let the speculation begin. Now it is up to Rodgers because clearly the Packers want to move on. Green Bay wants to trade him to an AFC team. The Jets are in need of a veteran quarterback. There is not a really great viable plan B for the Jets should Rodgers say no. The Jets showed their hand yesterday, and it sh should prove to be a winning one. And if it is, the sky's the limit for what the Jets can accomplish in 2023. With Rodgers at the helm, Gang Green can not only just win the AFC East, they can win the Super Bowl. Now we all wait once again on a decision by Aaron Rodgers. Until next time, New York, I'm Mark Malusis.